Hi everyone and welcome to this new video about Matomo Analytics. Today I'm going to talk about Docker and Matomo. So this video is very experimental. Okay, I'm not an expert in, in Docker um, and I'm not technical at all. So uh, it, this is very experimental. So I'm just going to show you how I succeed to install it. But uh, that's definitely not a good practice and not anything that you should uh, you should follow carefully, but uh, I'm going to just explain actually what I try to achieve and how I overcome it. Um, so of course I heard about Docker because I got some of my uh, customers were talking to me about uh, about Docker from time to time and I had no idea what Docker was. And uh, I found out actually this page explaining that actually Matomo is supported on uh, Docker. I tried to follow the following tutorial and I did not succeed. So that's uh, where actually this video come uh, into play because I found out uh, one way of uh, installing it. So uh, first of all, let's uh, define what is Docker. So uh, Docker is a platform which allows you actually to deploy some technologies on it um, in order to avoid actually to let's say set your um, operating system at least set your computer or your server um, let's say uh, to, to set all the technological part right docker is uh, taking care um, about it for you so that's uh, basically what docker is doing so let's say that you are struggling in order to install matomo on your own server thanks to docker actually you can avoid all that uh, technological uh, part. Uh, it doesn't mean that Docker is not technical at all. Of course, you need a minimum uh, knowledge about it that you find out uh, within the Docker official website or anywhere else that is kind. It's kind of a popular uh, solution at the moment. So uh, let's uh, let's dig into it. So. Um, I have actually Docker, which is already installed. So in order to uh, know that Docker is already installed, just uh, do something like uh, Docker uh, version is telling you actually uh, which Docker version uh, that you use. So in order to install Docker, of course, you need to go uh, on the official website or on an official uh, source in order to know how to install it. So it's kind of just one or two common line to perform within your shell in order to install it. And you will need as well uh, to install uh, docker compose which is um, let's say a kind of a branch of um, of docker which allows you actually to fetch to go and take all the different dependencies which are needed for a given project so let's imagine that you would like to install matomo on um, on docker you need to have uh, what we call the image of matomo plus you need of course uh, the mysql part and the apache one so compose will help you actually to go and fetch all those dependencies. And in my case, for example, I did not succeed to install Matomo on my own without the use of Compose. So basically just by following the tutorial, which was up here, I did not succeed to install it. I had to use uh, Compose. Uh, I did not succeed as well to install it the first time with Compose uh, with Matomo. So what I did is I followed um, a quick start tutorial about how to install WordPress uh, with Compose. And thanks to that, actually, I understood how uh, what I was missing actually uh, in order to install uh, Matomo. So uh, let's start. As I previously said, I already have uh, Docker and already have Docker Compose on my machine. So um, in order to install uh, Docker Compose, all you need to do is just to type uh, Docker Compose, how to install, and then you will, uh, it's just a couple of command lines to perform and then it will be installed properly. So uh, let's move now to the uh, next part. So. In order to install Matomo on Docker, you need to create a, a directory. So that's uh, nothing complicated. I'm just going to call it uh, make a directory and call it, um, let's say, make, I'm just going to call it Matomo, right? So I have now a directory which is named Matomo. So I just need to perform that. And now I'm within Matomo. Okay, next step, you need uh, to create actually uh, a file which is named um, docker compose dot uh, yml so actually this given uh, file will allow you to fetch all the dependencies as i was uh, saying so in my case i'm going to just create uh, one which will be get it and then uh, it's going to be so from my understanding actually they are all named the same right so just need to I just name it like this okay uh, so it's going to open my get it file and then um, you need actually the equivalent of this file in order to say, okay, Matomo, please uh, go and fetch actually all those uh, dependencies. So in my case, 
I'm going to go on the official image of uh, Matomo Docker. And I'm going to click on this one to not expose my SQL. Uh, as I say, I'm not an expert in security at all, so I didn't know what does this means unfortunately and i think that's important uh, but here you get uh, you get your file so you just need to copy and paste all that out within you uh, get it file okay as i'm doing here uh, pay attention here when i did that uh, i got like this small space coming in and you don't need that right? so you just copy and paste and you save it okay and that's that's your file that you Okay, so now it's uh, now it's down. So once it's down, all you need to do is so you create your file, and now you need to build it up. Okay, so that's uh, what you need to perform. Actually, you need to say, okay, please now Docker do your work. So in this uh, given, um, in this given, let's say uh, directory, I have everything I need normally. So if I do something like this, I need to do in to be in studio let's see if it works normally it should ask me for some information okay so yeah, it's gonna go and fetch so it's gonna take a while actually because I do not have a great uh, bandwidth, but here it's just downloading all the files which are needed in order to create the image of Matomo in my Docker and everything that you can see up here. Right? So normally it's going to fetch uh, the image of Matomo for Apache. It's going to uh, fetch actually the MariaDB, so the MySQL part. And, uh, and normally that should be uh, that should be it, and it's going to launch it normally on this given port. Let's see. Sorry for the time it's going to take. Um, so do not hesitate actually to increase the speed of this uh, given video. Okay, so there's only this one, which will be a bit long. So as you can see, the number of things that you are downloading is far bigger than the one of just Matomo itself is less than 20 megabytes Okay, so we are close to it. Uh, once it will be downloaded, it will extract them. So it's going to take as well a bit of time. It will be faster, fast, faster than the download. Okay, that's great. So now it's extracting. So as I said, it's kind of very fast. <clears throat> and let's see now if uh, we are lucky enough. So it's creating the Matomo's database. Okay, and here I got an error telling me, okay, da 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 da. Just got an issue with 
the server saying that it's already in use so uh, it happened to me once uh, if it was the case for you as well I think that uh, the workaround is the following one so you just open this one up and as this one is busy you can just say okay but instead of uh, this board just take the 8.4 and let's do it again so um, so close this one and I'm gonna try to do it again so normally it's not uh, downloading everything up and now it's saying okay that's fine now it's created so um, normally if I'm lucky enough now if I go on local host local, local host and it's gonna say that it's this one okay great so uh, you got actually your uh, Matomos running with Docker on this given port. So then uh, you click on next. So normally if it's well down, you should not have that much uh, mistake coming in. As you can see, everything has been done uh, properly here regarding the database uh, server. In fact, I struggled as well a lot with it. And uh, what is saying here is that you need to pick up uh, the data which up here so database server db root uh, this password and so on and so forth so we say db db uh, root and that was the password database name i just think that they say we don't care or something like this p week or you can choose uh, whatever you want so let's just not take any risk okay um, so don't save or save save um, access denied so I got this error uh, before mm -mm -mm. using password yes and I think that the workaround I found was that mm -mm -mm. so it's db maybe it's change me Okay, let's go for this one instead. Okay. Um, so yeah, do not ask me why, but that was the password. Oops, and next. So let's say that's that's the password. Um, just gonna change it. Okay, and uh, that's it. So actually, uh, congratulations. You succeed in installing actually uh, Matomo on, uh, on Docker. So as I said, uh, I'm not an expert here. I'm just starting with Docker. It's just that I wanted to show you how it works. And um, yeah, uh, as you notice, actually, this is version 3.5.1. It's not the last version. You just need to click on please update now. Uh, it works out. Um, you can actually get uh, the last uh, version of Matomo within Docker. It's not a problem, and uh, and that's it. So yeah, I really hope that actually some of you uh, are going to be helped uh, thanks to this video because um, I mean Docker is offering so many opportunities for people who would like to already test Matomo on their own server without uh, having to deal with all the technological side of it. So. Hope you enjoyed this video do not hesitate to comment or like it i won't be able to make any troubleshooting i'm afraid because i'm not a technological guy but uh we never know so please uh, if you like this video do not hesitate to like it or share it thanks for watching